All right, friends, you wanna see something cool? If you turn your Jupiter jar over on its lid like this, you can make it spin like the real planet. Welcome to STEAM Workshop, where we explore science and art through awesome projects. I'm Julia, and I'm one of the product designers here at KiwiCo. Can you tell me your names and how old you are? Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm six. Hi, I'm Annie, and I'm six, too. Hey, Annie. Hey, Alan. So here at KiwiCo, we love outer space, but since it's really far away, we like to make projects that bring parts of outer space into our homes, like astronaut starter kit, or solar system from Kiwi Crate. Do you know what Jupiter is made out of? Gas, gas. Yes, Jupiter is made of gas. Do you know what a gas is? Yes, it's something that floats in the air. Jupiter is made of two different gases called hydrogen and helium. Have you heard of helium before? Well, helium is the gas that they put in balloons to make it float. Uh, Alan, no, don't float away. These gases help give Jupiter its cool mix of colors. Let's take a look. Wow. What colors do you see? Kind of brownish, yellowish, reddish. Yeah, and we're gonna use those colors to make our own mini versions of this gas giant. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Uh-huh. To build our Jupiter jar, we'll need a clear jar with a lid. We're using a round one because it looks like a planet, liquid colors, water, and this mysterious powder. Have you seen powder like this before? What does it look like to you? Kind of sparkly, sparkly, shiny. Yeah, so this sparkly, shiny stuff is called mica powder and it's used in glittery makeup sometimes. Okay, are you ready to build? Yes. So the first step is to add our mica powder to the jar. So what's gonna happen is we're going to add one scoop of red mica powder and two scoops of yellow mica powder. One scoop, Annie. One scoop. Okay. Okay, so the next step is to add our water. So we're going to carefully pour in our water and we're gonna get it as full as possible without making it too full. We'll make the orange color. Ooh. Keep squeezing. Cool. Annie, cool. Annie, yours is cool too. It looks like it's swirling. And it looks like it's swirling with the gas. So we're going to add some liquid colors in order to make our jars a little more Jupitery. So, what color would you say that you saw in Jupiter? Um. Kind of brownish, yeah, brownish. I saw some brown in there. I feel like I also saw some red and some yellow and some orange. Me too. Here's the orange right here. We're gonna make it even more orange by putting some liquid colors in. Do you know how to make orange? Red, yellow, orange, yellow. Perfect, so we've got red liquid color and yellow liquid color. So we're each gonna put one drop, and one drop only, of liquid color into our Jupiter jar. So you're just gonna carefully turn it over and then give it a little squeeze. Are you ready for the next step now? Yes. Next, we're going to seal up our Jupiter jars. Uh, can you help me? If you need your mom to help you, that's totally fine. This might be a, a step where an adult can help. So, we've just added everything to our Jupiter jars, and now comes my favorite part. We're gonna shake it all up to mix it together. So, can you count us down? Five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. <laughs> and it looks like the real Jupiter. It, it's moving. Do you see all those swirls? Wow. Yeah. All right, friends, you wanna see something cool? If you turn your Jupiter jar over on its lid like this, you can make it spin like the real planet. Wow, so cool. 
What's going on in there? The gases are moving. It looks like the real Jupiter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. As the jar spins, the water swirls around, just like the gases do on Jupiter. The mica powder that we added makes the water sparkly and helps us see the swirls. Jupiter, the planet, is a lot bigger than Earth. And the only thing bigger in our solar system is the sun. If Jupiter was the size of our Jupiter jar. I think this would help you the sun. Ugh. How big do you think the sun would be, Annie? Way, way so bigger. If this were the size of Jupiter, then this would be the size of the sun. Whoa, whoa. Pretty big, right? Rubber ball. It's a beach ball that I painted yellow. <laughs> so if this is the size of the sun and this is the size of Jupiter, how big do you think Earth would be? Can you show me with your hands? If Earth were in this solar system, it would be the size of a green pea. I had such a great time learning about Jupiter today, and I hope you had fun too. See you next time. Bye. We want to see your Jupiter jars. Ask a grown-up to share a video or photo of your Jupiter jar on Instagram, and make sure to tag at KiwiCo underscore Inc. And for more projects like this, go to KiwiCo.com.